Okay y'all, welcome back to the Quizlet channel. Today I'll be going over my study routine and how I prepare myself when it comes to exams, studying and getting in the zone to get some work done. If you don't know, my name is Angelica. I'm part of the Quizlet family here. I'm also a senior at UC Berkeley. I also make content online, so if you wanna check me out, definitely check me out on my social media and my other videos I've made with Quizlet, but let's get straight to the video. Okay, so the first thing I do whenever I start a class or a new course is I get the syllabus and I start inputting all the midterms, quizzes, homeworks, projects, final exams in a Google Calendar or Apple Calendar or whatever calendar you use. I love using a digital calendar because it reminds my phone, my iPad, all my devices, and you can even set it to remind you a week before, a day before, so that's really great. I also suggest writing it on paper if you also do it like that. Post-it notes around your room. You just don't want to forget these crucial information dates, so have it around you, have it all on a one-sheeter, whatever you need to do to not forget these dates. I've always done this, but especially this year with quarantine, it's really easy to lose track of time and the days all start blurring together. So I highly recommend yourself to get yourself accountable on the calendar, write it in. So kind of my flow when I'm studying for an exam or doing homework, I like to make sure I'm really well rested and also I am well energized. So this is making sure you're putting in good things in your body. So I am not a dietitian here, but you know, sticking to fruits and vegetables and whole foods, that's really gonna help you push through because brain food is so real. And you know, sometimes if you have a really, really you know salty meal and you feel like you need to take a nap or too much candy, it's gonna make your blood sugar spike up and then you're gonna crash. So whatever it is, figure out what it's the best diet food you can have so you are in the zone ready to be focused your endurance is high and you're able to produce great results because you want to get the most out of your valuable valuable time some of my favorite fruits to snack on I love snacking on grapes watermelon I also like to make kale chips or a smoothie these are all really great um, nutritious ways that I like to stay full because the worst thing to do is be studying with the empty stomach so make sure you are in it to study we're gonna be here for a little bit so definitely fuel yourself up Maybe you gotta take a 10 minute nap, take a power nap, a coffee nap, whatever you need to do, rest up and get ready to do some work. So the next part of my routine, especially if I'm trying to get work done at home, I make sure I change, get out of my pajamas. There's nothing wrong with being in comfortable clothing while you're studying. You can be in a sweater like this, but try to get out of the clothes that you wore to bed because you want to separate that line between, okay, nighttime mode versus let's be productive and get some work mode. I love putting on a pair of really comfy yoga pants or sweatpants and a cute top and jacket. Like literally you could wear whatever you want, but put the intention into getting ready so you're kind of in the mindset of, okay, Okay, today I'm going to be productive. I'm going to get some work done. So I feel like just dressing up kind of puts you in the mood. You know, they say you dress for success. So I highly do recommend that. Put on the environment and like, you know, you want to be comfortable, but a little uncomfortable enough that you don't crawl back into bed. So next we're going to start studying. And for me, what I like to do is if I have an exam coming up, I like to go through all my notes, my highlights, my side notes. Maybe I start retaking my notes. This really depends on what type of class it is. When it comes to my English, more humanities-based classes, I like to keep it pretty much on my laptop, vocab words, highlighting, rewriting things. But when it comes to math and science, I love to rewrite my notes in terms of by hand, doing the example problems again, doing more practice problems, and really using more of that critical thinking skills to problem solve. I also love having a open running Quizlet going on for each semester. So I'll just make one for one of my business classes like negotiations. And throughout the day or the week, I'll just start putting in words I hear my professor is saying just so it's not going to be as overwhelming as me doing all the words at the end of a midterm or a final. At the end of every week, just go to your notes, see where you've highlighted some extra notes, some key things you've learned, put it on a Quizlet and you can just flip through it. Obviously, you also have your regular notes, but having it on Quizlet form, at least you can see clearly, okay, these are the key important things that my teacher talked about. This way, you're less overwhelmed so you don't have like five, six, seven weeks of content to all put onto the Quizlet or study guide. So you can just do it a little bit at a time, I think is a great Great way and it doesn't have to be perfect tons of my quizlet cards have typos and sometimes the sentences I use don't make total grammatical sense but I mean it's just for you words maybe just an acronym so it's really for you anyway so definitely get some kind of running list or note possible so that way you're not too overwhelmed later 
Next thing I like to do is every 20 to 25 minutes, I like to take a break, walk around, get some water, get some fresh air, especially high school students and college students. We spend a lot of time sitting down, which is again, not the best thing for your back. You gotta move around, exercise, take a breath. So I would say maybe 30 minutes, every 20 minutes, whatever you're comfortable with. Put an alarm on your phone, get yourself moving and grooving and you know, get those, get the oxygen flowing, take a step outside, get some fresh air. Just take a five, 10 minutes to recharge because I always find myself feeling really burnt out if I'm always sitting in the same place and it can be very very exhausting and it can actually make you less productive if you feel like you're not getting enough break time so definitely value those breaks it's super important to let your body know hey we're gonna take a break let's watch a YouTube video real quick let's have a little dance party with your favorite I don't know Taylor Swift song or go outside do some jump ropes whatever it is but just take a breath because this is how you can have a long endurance and they say studying in school and then maybe just life in general it is a marathon not a sprint so you want to pace yourself I know I've talked about this in my other videos but seriously I have to get myself to take a break every 20-25 minutes or I'll find myself actually being less productive for hours on straight so there's no point of just sitting and hogging a computer and table space if you're not gonna get work done so my next tip is making sure you have some good tools to make sure that you are studying efficiency for example sometimes my eyes get really dry when I'm studying so I love having some eye drops around me and also some blue light glasses there's tons that you can buy whether it's high-end or super affordable the blue light glasses it's supposed to help you eliminate that blue light from your laptop or your phone so you can hopefully decrease some headaches and your eyes can feel a little bit more at ease but figure out what works for you maybe you need a standing desk a standing desk tray maybe some back support maybe a foot step whatever it is there are so many tools these days that are Really affordable to make sure your office space is most comfortable for you so I love making sure I'm taking care of myself and I use all those things every time I study especially when it gets towards the end of the hour end of the night and you are feeling a little bit tired and you need that extra level of comfort and boost I love just dropping in some eye drops of course talk to your doctor if you don't know which ones to use putting on my blue light glasses and it's right back to go time and last but not least, at the end of my little study session or routine, I love to kind of recap what I did today. Maybe like 10 bullet points, five bullet points, just so I don't forget tomorrow morning. It's really easy to forget, especially if you have a big, you know, huge study session. Oh my goodness, like what did I just shove into my brain? So I like to just condense it down to the 10 key things I wanna take away, some big picture ideas, maybe just jot down, hey, don't forget to look back at number one. Therefore, back in the morning or the next time I study, I can refer back to this like little one page or post-it note of like, okay, I gotta do this again. I mastered this already. Let's review this concept again. You wanna make it easier for yourself, for your future self, not just your present self. So that's why I absolutely love having that summary cheat sheet of kind of what I did that day. It doesn't have to be organized or clean or uh, just so you can communicate with yourself and you want to make sure that you are ready for the next time you do some studying. And bonus tip with these closet cards, I know I showed you guys before, but you can actually make mini worksheets and tests. They'll make it for you. You don't have to put in the effort. I am all about low effort, maximum results, and being smart about where I put my energy. So Quizlet has the ability to turn your little words or your study guides quickly into like testable or even mix match, word match, thingamabob games. It's really, there's a lot. So definitely use those resources. It's super easy and it's just, it's not a serious quiz. It's just for you and you've made it yourself. So less pressure and maybe it can help with some test anxiety as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Hopefully you can incorporate some of these habits into your study routine so you can have a nice, like beautiful arc of like beginning and middle and how you get some work done as a student. Definitely check out my other videos on Quizlet about studying, memorization, things to avoid. I have a ton and I'm gonna have a lot more coming up and make sure to check me out on my other social media channels. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, comment below your favorite study routine you took away or something you wanna incorporate into your study routine and I will see you all in the next one.